Hello friends, this is Dr. Nikita here, your mentor for medical PG entrance exams. So we are done with our AIMS November 2019 exam today and like any exam, we are getting mixed reviews from the students. Majority saying that the exam was not too much out of the box, but yes, it was lengthy, especially with the new pattern questions, the videos, the EMQs and the assertion reasoning pattern questions. So you must have seen my last video that I had uploaded about the revision course that I am taking at the amazing online platform at an academy. The purpose of making my video today is to reinstill the faith and trust in you that the revision course that we are taking is really very beneficial as we have got the reviews from the students. Majority of you might have been skeptical when I uploaded that video whether to join the course or not. So this is the video to reinstill the faith that yes you should join that course. The Topics that I'm taking in the revision course is not something new. It is just the topics that are very, very important. And I'm telling you the tricks to remember those. So do watch this video till the end because I will tell you the mnemonics that I had shared in my course, in the revision course, which really helped the students to solve the questions and get them correct in today's AIMS exam. So as I've mentioned at the Unacademy platform, I've started with revision course part one is already over and with part two of revision course that I'm taking which has started from November 8 and we are done with five lessons up till now in that revision part two as you can see we had covered this topic of pharmacology drug schedule so the question on schedule X drug that is ketamine came today in AIMS exam a question on acid based disorder I had just discussed as in yesterday in the revision course and it did appear in the exam today I spe specifically mentioned that there are very very high chances of the question appearing in the exam and it did appear then we had discussed biomedical waste which was asked we discussed IV cannula color coding with mnemonics a wonderful mnemonic to remember the color code which ap uh, again appeared in the exam today and we had seen the scoring in obstetric and pediatrics including the Silverman Anderson score which again appeared in today's AIMS exams so I will tell you the mnemonics for this various questions that appeared in the exam from the revision course so as you can see the ECGs from from the course as well we had discussed this ECG of ventricular fibrillation which is very very important this is a screenshot from the live session that we had on ECG as you can see the advantage of attending the live sessions if you subscribe to an academy plus is that you feel like you are attending the session live but the advantage is that you can do it from wherever you want you don't need to travel for that you can attend it from your home, hostel, college, library, hospital, wherever you are. Plus, it is a very, very interactive session because I keep asking questions and the students enjoy answering those questions and they get to assess their preparation. The topics which are important like the ventricular fibrillation, I reinforce those topics by including more images again and again so that it gets fixed in your mind as you can see here. Plus, we had discussed this uh, ECG of multifocal atrial tachycardia. And as you can see, I had mentioned that this is a very, very potential question that can be asked in AIMS. And it did appear in AIMS exam today. We had mentioned that multifocal atrial tachycardia, there should be more than 3P waves which have different abnormal morphology. And I had also mentioned, as you can see, that this seen in the mnemonic for multifocal atrial tachycardia, MAT is PFT abnormal. So MAT is PFT abnormal. PFT abnormal means it is seen in patients with COPD, which was asked in today's AIMS exam. So very, very important point and that was stressed very much in the revision course. Plus, we had solved these questions on ECG. We had a separate session on the tricks to solve the ECG questions. So apart from imparting the theory, we also see the MCQ solving tricks, which is indeed what a topper does in the examination hall. These tricks really help you to fetch more marks and thereby a good rank. So we had discussed this question on PSVT ECG, as you can see, how to solve this question. Narrow QRS is the key point. We do not stop there. We integrate it with other subjects like what is the drug for PSVT that is adenosine. We also look at why the other options are not the answers like ventricular fibrillation. You would you would see very irregular waves, no P waves, atrial flutter. You would see sawtooth flutter is double T that shows T that is sawtooth appearance. So we see these tricks of ruling out the options and coming to the right answer, even if you do not know that it is PSVT. Then, as I mentioned, there was this question of acid base balance, which appeared in today's AIMS exam. We had discussed this yesterday evening itself at 5 p.m. and specifically mentioned this point that 
this question can be asked in aims and it very much appeared in aims and i am so humbled to know that that the students benefited out of it the key point here in the question is that the ph is normal when the ph is normal students think that it is a normal the, the ph that means there's no acid base disorder which is incorrect normal ph does not rule out an acid base disorder the when they give you normal ph in the question they give you sodium bicarbonate chloride to calculate the anion gap so generally in these questions the answer is high anion gap metabolic acidosis with alkalosis so when you see ph normal with wide anion gap wide anion gap tells you that it's metabolic acidosis ph normal tells you that it is a mixed acid base disorder we had discussed this yesterday itself as you can see in our practice session 5 which was scheduled for yesterday plus there were many questions like pem figures iv cannula silverman scoring the tryptophan castles necklace uh, question all of these the biomedical waste they appeared in the exam today these are the various testimonials from the students that have attached as you can see we had discussed the silverman score as well i'd mentioned that you would get a video on that because it has been asked previously in the aims also remember for the students who don't know this that silverman score the mnemonic is lung x what are the parameters that are included lower chest retraction upper chest retraction nasal flare grunting and xiphoid retraction we had actually solved this question to know how to calculate that we had seen the mnemonics how to remember the silverman scoring with the images and we solved quite a few number of questions the potential questions that can be asked like not a component of silverman score is respiratory rate because generally in the question respiratory rate is given as a confusing one to confuse the students that it is a parameter while it is not a parameter of silverman and score plus as i told you that we had seen this wonderful mnemonic of iv cannula how to remember the iv cannula size it's an amazing mnemonic to remember like you start from soil to sky beneath the earth is the orange fire or lava then is the gray soil then you have the green plant with the pink rose or the pink flower there is a blue sky with yellow sun which emits the ultraviolet rays on the plant to grow well on the soil you put white fertilizer so white is 17 and you start labeling this iv cannulas from 26 number and go to the even numbers 26 24 22 20 18 16 and 14 on the soil you add white that is 17 gauge so this is a wonderful mnemonic we have seen many such mnemonics in all our sessions they are based on mnemonics and concepts it's then the other thing that we had session just two days before our aims exam was this free online live session remember that we have sessions every month which are free for anybody to attend even for those who have not subscribed for the paid courses so if you go to this platform of unacademy.com you go to my profile dr nikita when you go to the courses you will see the plus courses which are the paid courses and the special classes which are the free classes and can be seen by anyone so we had this free session two days before the aims we have the session of beat the need the session is which there which you, all of you can see and i would really advise you to go through that because it will help you a lot in how to plan your revision for the remaining days so in the session just two days ago that we had planned the last minute topics for aims quick review which was the free online live session it was just one hour session but out of that one hour session three questions did appear in the aims exam today so let me give you a glimpse of that and the mnemonics for that so we had discussed pemphigus and pemphigoid pemphigus foliaceous pemphigus vulgaris end in s so they are superficial pemphigoid d ends in d that is deep whatever is superficial it is flaccid the bullae are flaccid because it is superficial pemphigoid is deep so the bullae are tense and that was the question asked today in aims that flaccid bullae are seen in pemphigus also we had seen this image on uh, barcode sign or stratosphere sign in a free session 2 days back and i had mentioned that the normal appearance is the seashore appearance while stratosphere sign is seen in pneumothorax again a strike rate in aim today we had seen this dermatitis herpetiformis the granular iga deposits and while discussing that question i had mentioned about the chromosomal translocation video that is there on my youtube channel so the advantage of joining this course is i shortlist the videos which are important to be seen just before your exam from the youtube channel from the huge list that i have on my youtube channel which videos you should focus on so i had specifically mentioned this chromosomal translocation and it did appear in a today again 
now coming to the questions that appeared from the youtube channel so there were three to four questions from my youtube channel that is castles necklace chromosomal translocation schedule x drug as you can see schedule x was covered in youtube channel but i focused it again in one of my sessions in the revision course so as i said i keep reinforcing the important topics in the unacademy course so this was the video i had posted casals necklace tryptophan the topic itself gives you the answer for today's question and so this was the mcq ad put with the image which was there in the exam today as well and the deficiency of amino acid is tryptophan we all know that casals necklace is seen in pellagra that is niacin deficiency and for niacin we need tryptophan 60 mg of tryptophan forms 1 mg of niacin now that was the uh, video on chromosomal translocations very very important that i mentioned so the mnemonics are there in the video all of you can go through that what are the various mnemonics for burkitt's mental follicular to all this lymphomas remember that 14 chromosome is common 8 14 11 14 14 18 so 14 is common burkitt's mental and follicular you can go through the mnemonics that i have mentioned in the video and there was a question on this in today so i did get a review from one of the students saying that even though the student could not revise the video but the he or she had seen the video once when i had posted but she was still able to answer that because of the mnemonics so the mnemonics really really help you to recall in the exam hall when you are in a panic state mugging up does not really help you tend to forget mnemonics are the ones which help so the purpose of having this revision course on an academy is all about that easy tips and tricks to score more in your exam Now this was the video on pharmacology drug schedule, psychotropic drug X. The question today was ketamine is included in schedule X. So this was covered in YouTube channel and the revision course as well. So as you can see, if you go to the An Academy platform and my profile, right now I have two courses that are going on. That is the revision course for NEET PG. We have a next lesson. today that is november 18 the sixth lesson of revision course part 2 plus we have the medical marathon that i will brief about very soon so we have medical marathon which has started on 15th of november so the purpose is it's a 30 days program 19 subjects 19 educators with one mission of helping you crack neat pg 2020 because you never know what would be the exam pattern next year so make it a point that you clear your neat pg this time itself by hook or by crook and we are there to help you with this medical marathon course it's a one month revision course where you will have sessions in the evening okay so you will have two subjects every day this is a part of the schedule which is there the detailed schedule of the course you can see at the an academy platform go by going through this medical marathon course page particularly i would be taking radiology in medical marathon on 1st and 2nd of december from 10 pm to 12 am so that would be a two hours i would be having two days course so in four hours i would be covering entire radiology plus after that i would be having two hours of pure mcq discussion with a high strike rate in neat neat pg that i would be discussing so these are the various testimonials that i'm attaching for your pencil you can go through those so basically if there are people who feel like hum doob rahe hain to unke liye ye course tinke ka sahara ho sakta hai so you are most welcome to join this course please remember that this video is not about boasting or advertising this particular course on an academy this is as your well wisher as your senior i really want you to crack neat pg this time itself because as i mentioned you never know what is going to happen next year so i would really advise you as your senior and well wisher to join this course if you do not find it useful of course you know you are not going to waste anything you can stop watching the videos anytime but this is a limited time offer that you have that you join the course the limited time offer is that it is till 30th of november only if you join or subscribe to an academy plus before 30th of november you will be just be charged 999 rupees which is otherwise 5000 per month by using the referral code dr nikita so as i said you can always join the course taste it for yourself whether you are finding it useful or not if not you can stop watching the videos but if you do not join the course trust me you would lose a lot i bet you that if you join this course you will benefit a lot in your exam do not be skeptical about joining something new at this point of time as i've mentioned it is not something new it is just to reinforce whatever you have read it is to help you remember better retain better and recall better in the exam hall 
uh, like my video in the cheat codes i would be sharing many cheat codes in my revision course how to come to the right answer in the exam even when the question is new how to use the tricks what are the tricks that is tra what are the tricks that a topper uses i'm telling you this because i myself had got rank 10 in state entrance exam and rank 63 in aims in the first attempt itself again this is not to boast but to tell you that i have been through this journey previously that is why i have some experience and the prediction of the questions that can come in the exam since the last two to three years the prediction that i have been making do appear in the exams by god's grace so i'm hopeful that it will appear in neat pg 2020 as well so hoping to see you there live in the class in the revision course and medical marathon soon if you have any queries or you need any help about joining the course do write in the comment box i would be happy to help the link for joining the course and the details i would be adding in the description below as well so see you soon in the class thank you and best wishes for neat pg